Hello, you're looking at a pretty interesting vehicle here. It's a, well, a previous surveillance uh, vehicle for the uh, U.S. government. It's a 1991 Dodge Caravan, very low miles, 60,000 original, in good shape, body's in good shape, four good looking tires look almost new. Now back here in the back there, there's several options. Could use it as a little workshop or office because it does have several inverters. You can see them in there that work. Um, you can see the gauge here. Um, several inverters. It has AC in the back. I don't know if any of that works. Uh, the AC in the front is blowing but not cool so it may need a charge. And also has a switchboard there to turn everything on and off and a heat control and air control and a lot of the lights inside do work. In fact, let me get in here. When you turn this on, here you can hear the fan blowing. See the horn, horn blows from there. And then it has these different controls. And there's also a control um, compartment in here. Looks like you can put ice in. And that way you would have air conditioning on a hot day without running the motor. And then under this side there are a couple of deep cycle batteries that are in there. And inverter. And my buddy there came by. Anyway, it's in real nice shape. Let me close this up. Has a V6 in it, which sounds good. Put that down. Let's go for a quick ride. All the gauges are good. The door ajar light is on. Maybe it means one of the doors is not closed all the way. The radio comes on sometimes and sometimes it doesn't come on. So I don't know if there's a switch that I'm not hitting in the back or what the story is on that. Definitely unusual to have such a low mileage 1991. It needs some tidying up here and there for cosmetic reasons, but um, overall runs pretty well. I've had one of these before and the gentleman pulled everything out and used it as a cargo van. Just was looking for a cheap low mileage vehicle. So, um, that's a possibility. And the other is to use it, uh, you know, like a um, office or a work, work area. Right now I'm in Pennsylvania where this van came from, but we are located in Bel Air, Maryland, about 20 miles north of Baltimore. We're right off I-95. If you're coming in from out of town, which happens all the time, uh, we will pick you up at the Baltimore Washington International Airport or um, the Aberdeen train or bus station Aberdeen Maryland and there are also some buses that travel from the Northeast 
and south that go to the White Marsh Mall, the Bolt Bus and different internet buses uh, if you want to come that way. Lots of truck traffic back here. But it'll drive you home wherever you're headed. You can see again the gauges are good. And we're rolling along almost 50 miles an hour. It goes straight down the road, no shimmy. And those tires, like I said, look almost new all the way around. A lot of tread on them. This is a no-reserve auction, so please do not bid unless you have your finances in order. At the end of the auction, you have 24 hours to leave a $250 deposit. If you do not do that, it gives us the option to sell it to somebody else. Um, and the balance has to be paid within seven days. Now, you don't have to pick it up that fast. You can uh, have up to 30 days to pick it up. But um, do have to pay for it within seven days. And then we will give you, when you come, the title and a temporary license tag that's good for 60 days to um, get it back home and do whatever you want to do with it. So there you go. Buy this uh, low mileage caravan.